Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Greetings one and all. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Greetings and welcome again to our night service. Praise the name of the Lord. As we are coming to the end, we are touching down. Praise the name of the Lord. And when we are, when for those who travel, when you're on a flight and you're touching down, you, you praise God. Not true. For safe landing. Come on. You worship and tell God thanks for safe landing. And tonight, as we are coming down, we are glorifying God. And we are anticipating a good night tonight in the house of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. I am Sister Simit, and we are here tonight to glorify the name of Jesus. And at this time, as we all come together to worship and bask in this wonderful theme, the church triumphant is alive and well. And truly tonight, we have been through the past week of some very glorious themes. Praise the name of the Lord. My cup is full and running over. How about you? How about you, brethren? Come on. I've enjoyed every bit of it. And you know, most of all, why I enjoyed so much is because I was locking for so long. What, three years? That's true. And it was refreshing and nice. It was feasting from the Father's table. Praise the name of the Lord. And to be in the presence of the brethren that are coming in time after time, I feel good. Praise the name of the Lord. And so tonight, as we are touching down nicely, we are going to call to do our nice um, devotion, Sister Norma McLeod from the White Chapel Church of God Deliverance. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we worship the Lord? Let's just lift holy hands and worship the King of Kings tonight. Is he worthy tonight to be praised? Are you happy to be in the house of God tonight? Hallelujah. Just stand on your feet and give him a shout of praise tonight. Hallelujah. 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 He is worthy. He is worthy from the rising of the sun to the going down there. I bless the name of Jesus. I'm so privileged tonight to be in his midst tonight to lift up and to adore his name. Bless the name of Jesus. I will just stay, um, sing from our program sheet. Number five, will your hand or hold? Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. In the storms of life, when the clouds are full, their wings are dry. When the strong tides leave, and the cables break, their anchors ring. 
hold. No matter the storm throws and it's rocking the ship. Just let your hunger hold with Jesus. Hallelujah. He's the captain of our ship. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, I'm going to ask Missionary Walters, please take us to the throne of grace. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God, hallelujah, eternal God, and our heavenly Father. This afternoon, Lord, we just want to worship you, we just want to praise you, we just want to acknowledge you as our King. Oh God, we just want to thank you for the past week, oh God, you have kept them, oh God, in convocation, and you are here tonight, you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above which we could even ask or imagine in the name of Jesus. God, we put you front of oh God in our convocation tonight in the name of Jesus. Take over from us and night afresh. Deliver, set free. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Take your daughter in charge. Standing before the pillow to read your word. Anoint her. Anoint the word again. We come in the congregation into your hand. In the name of Jesus. Cover us as you always do. We come into everything into your hand. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Our night lesson will be taken from. St. Matthew chapter 16, we're going to read from verse 13 to the 21st verse. If you don't have a Bible, please stand to the reading of God's word. Bless the name of Jesus. And it reads thus. When Jesus came into the court of Caesarea Philippi, he had his disciples saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And he said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some say Elias, and others Jeremiah, are one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjonia, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the key of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Then charge his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ, 21st and ending. From that time forth begun, Jesus, sorry, from that time forth begun Jesus to show unto his disciple how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again on the third day. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. We honor the word of God by saying, Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the blessed Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, both now and forever shall be, world without him. Amen. I, I take great pleasure and love at home, Mother Rachel, in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Continue to worship the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The church triumphant is alive and well. Let me hear the Alive Church praise the Lord. Let me hear the triumphant church praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Victory is ours in the name of Jesus. 
Praise the name of the Lord at this time. I take great pleasure in inviting our host pastor, Pastor Thompson, to do our night's welcome. To God be the glory tonight, great things he has done. And of course, as a matter of right, what was saying earlier, we give God thanks when we are about to land in a special way. Amen. Because it is by his mercy, his goodness, his kindness. Amen. Praise his name. And so, of course, we just, and I'll be very brief tonight. Amen. Today, I take, it, I take a little bit of time. Amen. Praise God. But tonight, of course, we will be going, of course, fast. And as I keep on saying, I want to respect those that are going far. Amen. Praise his name. And so we're glad to have you tonight. Today was the year. My God, what a day. Praise God. Amen. So many have gone back and we are here tonight. But there's one thing I learned to the church is that, of course, a little is much. But God is in it. Amen. And tonight, amen. Praise God. It really caused me and caused us to understand that Amen. After the battle, then God always takes his disciples apart. Are you feeling that tonight? He's taking us apart tonight in the coming down. Hallelujah. Praise God. And to God be the glory for all the glorious things that he has given unto us throughout the past week. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise his name. Amen. And so, just briefly, amen, I want to say thank God for the churches that are here. Amen. We still have with us, amen, White Chapel, Deliverance. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The pastor was here today. Bless your heart, bless your soul, but they have to return. Amen. Praise His name. We still have, amen, part of the choir here with us tonight. Amen. Praise God. And so we just ask you to stand to the White Chapel along with the brethren, Minister Simpson. Amen. Thank you that are still here. Praise God. Come on, come on, clap them, clap them. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. We work together and we, of course, have such a wonderful fellowship. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We have the great of faith, Mission Trozai, Vandalus Forkison. Amen. Leader Pastor Forkison. <laughs> oh, praise God. We will take a lot of the brethren. 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 The God. Amen and amen. She keep coming back. Others are on their way. Okay. Praise his name to God with the glory of Church of God in Jamaica. Bigford Call. That is uh, Pastor Collins' head. He was here the other day. But the virgin are here tonight again. We just magnify God for them. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Deep of life, ministry. Black words, amen. Praise God, praise his name. Hallelujah. Amen. We have some brethren coming in from the cool part of the Victoria region that is Bloomwell Baptist. Am I right? Yes, Bloomwell Baptist. Oh, praise God. Praise be the name of Jesus. Bloomwell Baptist. Just come up, just come up, Pastor Deacon. Just come up, Pastor Deacon, for we're running very fast tonight. Amen. Come on, come on, pushers. Come on, pushers. Oh, praise God. Let's be the name of Jesus. We praise his name. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. We would like to have you, wonderful man of God. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, praise his name. Yes, we have, of course. Yes, uh, we have the better temple in the Coastal Church of God. Amen. And of course, they made us. Our speaker coming from tonight, Pastor King. We have not seen this King for a good while, so I hope he bring down some things. Amen. Praise His name, and he must have bring the kingdom with him. Oh, praise God! Oh, just come out here this morning, talking. A very humble man of God. <laughs> he preaches here many times. He preaches here many times. His wife is down there. Uh, Queen King. Good boy, the King and Princess. Yes, and some of the virgin, but we want to see your wife. Yes, and the virgin, the virgin. Oh, praise God. The virgin, praise his name. God bless you, and please. Pastor Benny, come with you too. Yes, Pastor Benny, first time in Blackwoods? Yes, first time. First time here. What's it? 
Amen. Praise God. Look to have, of course, room with Baptist. Amen. Praise God. You know, I keep getting on there. I call her Roger sometimes. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm, I'm right. Yes. Nika the Roger. Amen. The sweet man of God. Let's be the name of Jesus. To God is the glory. Did I say the football? Yes. And our friends from the community, glad to have you as you draw. You're the Sean, of course. Amen. Minister. Amen. Praise God. Minister. Any God? Praise God. All right. Oh, praise his name. Glad to have you tonight again with us. Praise his name to God. Be the glory tonight. God bless you. Be handing back this mic. Amen. Praise God. To God be the glory. Come along. Come along. Missionary. Continue God. to worship the Lord. Pastor Ferguson, please just stand. Oh, please just stand, stand, stand. No, Michael, we don't want to. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, praise God. Great man of God. It's all because of Him. Why many of us are here tonight? God have used him to stand up when our father passed and amen and of course a man of faith the man that put of course his money where his mouth is amen oh praise god in the name of jesus and i tell somebody sometimes ago amen and of course we don't uh, we don't believe in the little faith down here amen we have a good start and so that must continue when we go amen God is no thank you, thank you, God. God is a big God. The earth is the Lord and the fullness of the people. And all day that dwells near him. Come on, man. We need to recognize him and we need to understand that he is God. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Thompson. And I hope you do feel welcome in the house of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. We are running through and we are landing. We will be landing safely. And so at this time, we're going to tune our voices and do this chorus as we take some testimonies, short and spicy. Praise the name of the Lord. Church of God, arise. Church of God, arise. From the end of the earth, arise. Fire in your
as a service with the convention service and I feel good and I don't know but I just want to keep on coming down here to, to get the worship and to see the truth Hallelujah. and in God and just to worship so just continue to pray for me while I pray for myself and Hallelujah. I have been strong in this man Jesus and that is my Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I'm giving God thanks to be in this house of assembly once more time, giving praise down to God. I'm still on the back of field as a soldier, still on the back of field giving thanks. And I want you to pray my strength for me in ways in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have a testimony, Brittany. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Fit art and eat for me. I'm even I made a food man. Even you know, me made a food man. I'm even one good yard fit art and eat. Real lady, pray for that. One told that to the, and by one and a half to the, I'm putting one for my, and by cheap party for me. In five but that never did. With it to me, careful. I, in the five of that, let it benefit you. By five to the, in dead. You know, we never know where for money to be dead. You know, we never know where for money to be dead. I'm going to tell you, they're going to be dead, be dead. Be dead. at a time. The key out of the way. If many people you know, if we fall, we have know what we are doing before you know. If I be a young man, I tell you, I you. Hallelujah. No, don't pray for me in Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you all for your testimonies. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We are moving on nicely. Praise the name of the Lord. And you know, when you know your speaker, when you know your speaker, you put him on. For you want the word. Not true. Amen. Come on. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going to give the speaker time to, so we can get the word. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. At this time, I'm going to invite us all to stand as I ask Missionary Stuart to ask God's blessing on the choir that will be ministering for the night's offering to be lifted and also for the offering. Stand for us, please. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, we adore you, we lift up your name. You are worthy, God. You alone is worthy. Father, we just thank you for tonight. We just thank you for each and every one. Even now, Lord God, the choir is about to minister. Father, we are about to take up the offering. Father, we just pray your blessing upon the offering. We pray for the choir. We pray, Holy Spirit of God, as they minister. Lord, they will minister, Lord God, to the anointing, Lord God, that someone can be touched. Someone, Lord, will come home. Father, fetters will be broken. Lord Jesus, the deliverance will take place. Holy Spirit of God, we know, Lord God, that you are here with us. And Lord, as we anticipate, Lord God, what you are about to do as they sing. 
Father, we just look to you right now. We pray your blessing, Lord God, upon the offering. We pray you bless those who gave, those who have not. Lord, as it goes to the furtherance of your work here on earth, we curse and redevour, Lord God, as come, Lord God, to take our seed. We pray, Lord God, your will be done in the life of your people as we look to you tonight and tell you thanks. Amen. In the name of the Lord, praise, praise God. God. At this time, we introduce to you the choir from the Church of God of Deliverance, White Chapel, in care of the Holy Ghost. We bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We just want to give God thanks for his mercies tonight. And as we come to do this song, I pray that the Spirit of God will just minister this song with us and that we sing with the angels. Because even now we know that worship is taking place in heaven. Hallelujah. Just before the minister, just before the minister, you know, it's right that Fox is going to take a special offer. Well, of course, you know. I said, Lord, bless you, please. Amen to give. All right? Go ahead. God bless. God bless. I stood in the courtroom, the judge turned my way, it looks like you're guilty, now what do you say? I stood there in wonder. I have no defense, but that's where mercy won't Thank you. 
and I, the word mercy walked in. Hallelujah. Mercy is still walking in today. Praise the name of the Lord. You know what came back to me while they were singing? Mercy walked in. I remember yesterday I was sitting on a chair and I felt the chair dancing with me. And I remember Turkey. Hallelujah. The earthquake that shook Turkey. And I look and I start, when I listen to the radio and I hear people calling in of the very earthquake that shaped Jamaica yesterday. Many people did not even notice. But when God is doing his thing, hallelujah, mercy walked in. Praise the name of the Lord. We could have been read about today, Jamaica had. We could have been read about just like what Turkey was read about. But mercy walked in yesterday. Mercy walked in yesterday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give God glory. We give him thanks. And we praise him for mercy. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. We'll be taking greetings from the ministers on the farm right now. And so at this time, I invite Deacon Rotary to greet the congregation. Praise the name of the Lord. We hear the King. Hallelujah. He alone is worthy. Hallelujah. And his name is to be. Praise. From the rising of the sun. Praise the Lord. Unto the going down of the same. He is worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Christ is risen. Praise God. Let me just give honor to the spirit of God. Greet the homeshell ministers, the lovely choir, my good friend. <laughs> My good friend, Pastor Thompson, and all you beloved saints Hallelujah. and friends, I greet you in the most exalted name of Jesus. And it's not myself alone. Greetings from the rest of the church at Broomwell Baptist. And we had some of our lovely members they are here. Could you stand and just let somebody see that you are here with us? We praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. That's just a little number. The rest is gone out to our program. So we got to share. You know, I am very glad tonight to be here. Praise the name of the Lord. To be a part of this feast. I am not 100% okay. I'm just pulling out from an operation. But the Spirit of the Lord is still alive. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the flesh doesn't profit much. And even Paul said that what the nature says doesn't profit much. But the soul that lives inside, he is the inner man and he does the work. Praise the name of the Lord. He is alive. So we know to work that out. Amen. You know, I think of Jesus Christ speaking to those high men. Praise the name of the Lord. By telling them that he would destroy its temple and in three days rebuild it. Praise the name of the Lord. And they were compensating, complaining, and whatever, whatever. What are you talking about, Jesus? It took us 46 years to put this temple together. And you tell us that you can destroy it and rebuild it in three days. And there was a confrontation there. But it doesn't stop there. I hear somebody talking about the blood. Praise the name of the Lord. They pour out the blood. The same Jesus who had promised that he would destroy Amen. That temple and rebuild it. When he was on that cross, I heard somebody at the foot of it said, He say he is the Son of God, and you will destroy this temple. Let us see if he will come down now and save himself, and he will save us. So I will praise the name of the Lord. But I acknowledge that Jesus did not come to save himself. He came to give his life a ransom that you and I tonight can be sheltered under the blood of Jesus Christ. And I am glad to know that because of that blood that we this heart, that's why I'm here tonight. I'm not here to speculate. I am only here to tell you that I am a sinner, saved by grace. But thanks be to God, I move from that direction and I am heading on to eternity. God bless you. Be strong and have a good courage. And I know that the Lord will tell you to It's will be over. Just wait a little longer. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Deacon Ratri. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. At this time, we'll take greetings from Pastor Bennett. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Shall we bless the Lord? It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen? Amen. I am no stranger to none of you. You don't believe me? Because I am a child of God. So I'm no stranger, all right? But I'm Pastor Bennett, as you all know. Well, I, I, I am, I'm a part of the Ministry of Miracle World Outreach. Uh, it's based, it's an office is based in the States, uh, but they have got a few churches out here in Jamaica in which I worship at the one in Portmore, Cedar Grove Community Center. So I'm no stranger, all right? So anyway, you see me? Pastor Bennett, all right? I truly love the fellowship. I like what I'm feeling, and I know that the presence of the Lord is here. And guess what? As your team suggests tonight, something happens when the church prays. So brothers and sisters, if you believe that without a shadow of a doubt, then you know according to his word he says, he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above that which you can think or even imagine, or even ask. So there is nothing tonight that God cannot do. But you must accept it. You must believe it. You must live it. You must also endure or exhort, encourage each other in the faith because something happens when the church prays. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God, I just brought in here because we have some person with us and you're here for the first time. And of course, I'm really glad to have him tonight. We have, of course, Reverend Romeo. He will pronounce his name. Oh, praise God. I asked him to come right now and see for the first time. He pastored two churches, and of course, the Rose Hill and the Penance New Testament Church. We were handling the campaign, the crusade for Clarinda, crusade for Jesus. We worked together in serial Bishop. Of course, Edwards, myself, Amen, and Robin, Romeo. Romero. <laughs> Romero. Romero. All right. Okay, praise God. But of course, Amen. Like those in Virginia and so on, we know each other's whole life. We become a good friend. Of course, who looks for me? I'm going to take my friend from Come here. Oh, praise God. Over many years, we are friends. Amen. And my good friend, we go to the penance, right? Praise his name. We always uh, meet up when we are uh, key and bad and so we call and everything. And long days. Remember them days? Oh, praise God. Amen. But of course, tonight, amen, as I said, the preacher will be coming on short of the year for the first time. And of course, amen, this man of God, amen, praise God, I just wanted to, for him to greet us. I see him as a worker. While I was tra on the trail, I could say trail, but I love him for, amen, is that, of course, in Norway, the one I'm rich in <laughs> Amen. I really love that. When we go down into songs, that's that. This is weird. You know, we're going to play some money. So I'm saying dance. All right, we're going to go penance. This is what we do. You know, easy. And these are the person that we're looking for in Kingdom Building. So I will take the time out. I will take the time out to say that. Amen, servants of God. Amen. That know the people. That go with the people of. Amen. And of course, tonight we are very, very much trained to have you here. And every meeting that we have, Planning for the crusade. Amen. Praise God. And how words come out to be so great. How words go so great. Amen. Our region, Blackwoods, Chapleton. Amen. Praise His name. It's region and so on. Because we labor, we work. Amen. amen. Praise His name. So, of course, amen. Praise God. It's my privilege to read this kind of quotation. God bless you. Amen. 
Good night, my brothers and sisters. Good night. Amen. I'm very happy to be in your presence this evening. My name is Seth Diego Romero. Uh, <laughs> that's, my, that's my name, all right? I'm not a white man, I'm just a black man. Just like all of us, all right? It's Seth Abel Romero. I'm the pastor for the Penance and the Rosehill Church. And a uh, few of them are here this evening as we seem to be here with you. Now, your pastor has spoken extensively. And let me greet the ministers who are here this evening before I, before you say, we don't have the manners. <laughs> let me greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus. In fact, I sat, when I sat, I said, all right, I'm among the aged people, and I hope to get wisdom from the age this evening. Amen? Amen. But not, 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 not all of them, because pastors feel like she's just in that one. <laughs> so, so I greet the pastors and the, the board members, if you use that category, but wonderful choir. You're looking beautiful in your very much in multiple um, outfits. So I was saying that I met your pastor in the calendar for Jesus Crusade. I met him before because, of course, we have gone to Blackwood at the functions at our bishop church. But the calendar for Jesus Crusade it has really shown a different side to Reverend Thompson. As I watched him, I said to myself, this has to be somebody that I want to partner with. You know, he's a wonderful servant of the Lord. Very wonderful. I, I, I noticed efforts in these meetings and how he planned with us and did some personal stuff. Um, I hope he's reimbursed, but did some personal stuff as he carries the, the mission of the church at his head. And so um, we want to really partner with you. So let me jump off of that because I'm a businessman. I don't just come, so I come to get. All right, I come so you can come back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, 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 I don't just turn because I want to be here. I turn because we want to have a relationship. Amen. Yes. How are they doing there? But um, as I walk, you know, look at your, look at your feet, and I must commend you. And then we should have a wonderful church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but why not for push on the main road? All right, man. I, 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 I did the same thing, man. I can come to the church, and it's a beautiful church in the bush here. All right, don't, don't forget that. I mean, I mean, you guys have television. I mean, no. No other church don't have these things. <laughs> no other church don't have these things. So you are doing great up at this part of the woods, all right? But, 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 I watch your theme. And um, I didn't really know your theme. So my eyes caught on your, your sophisticated TV. And it is saying that the church triumphant is alive and well. And I'm also seeing a sub theme that something happened when the church prayed. I'm certainly not your preacher, but I can say to you that the church is pretty much relevant at all times. And Jesus encouraged the church that if you want to see results, then let's get into that mode of prayer. Because the truth is, when you look to scripture, the church didn't achieve anything outside of prayer. They planned programs? No. Did they plan concerts? No. Did they plant fish fry? No. no. Did they do rallies as we do? No. no. Did they do convention for no. souls to be born again? No. The church simply what? Prays and God does the pulling. And, and we see throughout Acts that the church really was relevant. Through prayer, the sick was um, healed. And we see that the don'ts people, the don'ts people, don't forget that no, they were brilliant men. They were don'ts people. When you read the scripture, you realize that they had it tough. They asked Jesus some stupid question. Jesus talked about the sow and the seed, and they might be pulling one side and say, Don't! 
But we see, but we see God's use those those people and because they know how to pray, they will be united with power and authority in the Holy Spirit. To the end, that look at what we are having today. A great move of God. Church, we are part of this great August body where we are anticipating God to change lives and to do the things that we can't do in this church. So as the theme says, I know it is very difficult at times for us to pray because there are so many elements that surround us. And there are times you really want to pray, but you're tired. There are times you really want to pray and you feel sick. And there are times you want to pray and you just say, so, what am I praying for? Am I might see the results. But guess what? Let us take that example that when you pray, something happens. And for I take my leave, it doesn't only happen. It is Jesus working with you. It is your only method of having that connection, you know, that interaction between you and the Lord. So let's encourage each other to pray for our communities, pray for our church, pray for our families, pray that Lord will turn things around. You see this camera name? You just see that this, this country is going to have financial wreck because when people are thief, they know who thief. Yeah. You can't tell us, they say they are thief, they are thief, and if they go to prison and come back, they can't live. So we need to pray them out and that they get saved, all right? We need to pray that they get saved and, and, and turn from the evil God bless you. Thank you. Continue to worship the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, ministers, for greeting us, greeting the congregation very well. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. And we have come to the most important part of the service. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is when we'll hear the word of God. Praise the name of Jesus. And so before the speaker, we'll be having the choir who will be doing the ministry and the, um, I'll be asking Evangelist M. Parkinson to just introduce the speaker and also pray for the speaker and for the choir that will minister. Praise the name of the Lord, Evangelist Parkinson. Praise the name of the Lord. And while the choir is ministering, I'm asking an usher to just take the offering that came in late. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a part of worship. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we stand together? Hallelujah. Praise God. Bow our hearts, our minds, and everything in prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to ask Reverend Pastor King, my good friend, to come and stand right here. Praise God. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is a wonderful God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. He is indeed a worthy God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Most righteous and eternal God, Lord, we want to thank you for tonight. God, we thank you for your awesome presence, you. Almighty God. That the church still stands triumphant, Hallelujah. Mighty God. It is alive and it is well. Eternal God, we ask of you tonight. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we have touched down, Almighty God, and we have landed well. Mighty God, and so we are determined tonight, our Father, as we stand into your presence. Mighty God, we lift up the choir in the name of Jesus. I pray that as they stand to minister, Mighty God, that hearts will be touched, souls will be revived. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will touch their voices in the name of Jesus. I pray that the kingdom of heaven will minister with them. Eternal God, hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that the Son will minister to their hearts and the congregation hearts and those mighty God that will stop by or stand around to listen. Mighty God, I pray that you will lift up a standard even now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Loving God, we just want to lift up your Son right now. Mighty God, you know him by name and nature and number. Eternal God, I pray that you will pour down upon him in the name of Jesus as you have never done before. God, I pray that you will anoint him in the name of Jesus from the crown of his head in the name of Jesus. Take a life for your coat from the altar, Almighty God, and place it 
eternal God on the tip of his tongue, in his heart, in his spirit, in his mind. Mighty God, I pray that you will take over, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus. Use him as you have never done before. Anoint him afresh in the name of Jesus. Let your Holy Spirit, Almighty God, be exalted and lifted on high. My God, as you use him to speak, thus said God. Mighty God, our theme, something happens when the church pray. And upon truth, Almighty God, something happened. My God, when the church prayed, it gives deliverance. And so, God, as your son come to pour out, I pray that souls will be revived. I pray that spirit will be uplifted. I pray, Almighty God, that, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, heaven, Almighty God, will hear and demon will tremble. Mighty God, and bow at the foot of your, oh God, at the foot of a cross. Mighty God, take over this moment. Mighty God, we ask of you that you will stand with your son. We lift him up, Almighty God, and we place him into your love and into your clear. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, cut and clear, Mighty God. Tear down every stronghold and every principalities and powers. Mighty God, we render them powerless right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let your blood, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, take preeminence right now. Yeah, hallelujah! In the name of Jesus, Almighty God, take preeminence right now, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus, go through, Almighty God. Cut and clear and cut down. Pull down, Almighty God. Pull up and pluck up, Mighty God. Destroy that which is to be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And let the church, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, ah, oh, my God, stand victoriously. In the name of Jesus. God, we tell him thanks. Because of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess tonight that Jesus Christ is Lord. Through your words, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Lift up the name of Jesus. Shabbat the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glorify the name of Jesus. Exalt the King of Kings. Exalt the Lord of Lords. The conquering line of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. He's high and he's lifted up. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Tonight we are so honored and blessed to have with us. Praise the name of the Lord, a humble man of God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. He was introduced to me by, praise the Lord, Sister Medlin, missionary Stuart. Praise God, her friend, but he became my buddy and my friend. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. A wonderful man of God who knows the word. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. He's married one with beautiful wife, a son. Praise the name of the Lord, Josiah. Praise. He operates a business place. Amen. Two business place. Amen. Hallelujah. Your station and all that, if you need it, you can just check him in Spanish. Tony is right there at his grocery store. Praise the name of the Lord. And it does not stop there. He also ministers sometimes. You will listen to TVC and you'll hear him ministering on a Wednesday, especially on a Wednesday. Praise God. Pastor King will be giving the diluted word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. And so tonight we are honored to have him in our presence. In Black Hills another time. Lifting up the name of Jesus. I pray that you will rest with him. You will worship with him. You will preach with him. In the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord. Just anoint him, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And let the Lord have his way. God bless you. Praise God. Reverend Pastor Bishop. King, praise on the Lord. At this time, the choir, Black Coast Choir, will be ministering to us right now. Praise God. Please put your hands together for them and make them welcome as they minister in some to our hearts. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This body is the temple. A place where Jesus dwells. He paid the price on Calvary, and I'm not about to sell. From the day he started building, it's been my dearest friend. Construction's not completed, but the carpenters moving. This house is built. 
amazing that's why the enemy cannot understand this grace hallelujah some people cannot understand this grace we are talking about because it's amazing grace and the devil cannot tear it down somebody praise him Lord. somebody give the lord a praise right now somebody give the lord a praise right now hallelujah hallelujah somebody said time is not our friend so we just going to move on. Hallelujah. When we believe we have time, just keep going, don't you? Hallelujah. I really want to thank God tonight for being here after, hallelujah, a very long time because of COVID, as my wife says, that comes in, but God is good. Hallelujah. Somebody give him praise right now. Hallelujah. And also smiling because I see and the outline I got the letter that you are um, celebrating 39 here, hallelujah. 
of anniversary, somebody worship, of annual convention, somebody bless the Lord, 39 years, hallelujah, hallelujah, the devil thought you have gone on a long, you would have gone on a long time, but tell somebody, we are still here, somebody give him praise right now, somebody give him praise right now, God confirm his word with sign follow, and we are just leaving out of our national convention with probably going on now or soon end hallelujah and I, I see God confirming the word and I hear hallelujah God is able to do exceedingly that's the theme of the convention God is able to do and I heard the word rehearsing here I also heard hallelujah he's a miracle he's a miracle God can do what no one else can do somebody give him praise right now somebody give him praise right now hallelujah Hallelujah. I want to honor God. Hallelujah. With great sense of humility standing here at Blackwood. Hallelujah. This afternoon. Hallelujah. And I also want to recognize your pastor, Pastor Thompson. God bless you. And I want to see a sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel safe among these five men of God. And all the other restaurant. Hallelujah. Minister in your own capacity, I greet you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my good friend, sister, Minister Natalie, she tell you, Minister Benny that accompany my wife. Hallelujah. God bless you, honey. Mrs. King. Hallelujah. Sister Diane and Sister Sharon that accompany me here. All the lovely saints, those who are viewing online, I greet you in the powerful and mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not so much glad that I'm ministering, but I'm glad that I'm a child of a king. Anybody glad here? I'm glad that I'm a child of a king. Hallelujah. And this king cannot, hallelujah, be dethroned. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This king cannot be dethroned. Hallelujah. And this king cannot be a prince. He's always will be a king. Somebody praise him. Somebody give him praise. Hallelujah. We serve the king of kings. I'm old. Somebody stand up and say, Lord of Lords. Conquering lion, tribe of Judah, the one that prayed, somebody shall pray. Somebody shall pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God, that's why something must happen when the church prays. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've been given a mandate to many seated to minister to you from Hallelujah from Acts chapter 12. Hallelujah. My the major Verses here is verse 5 that I am going to be sent around. Time is not our friend, as I said. But I would like to read uh, the passage there for emphasis, just for emphasis, from chapter 1 to verse 19. You're following your Bible. This is the way the scripture reads. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church, and I'm going to go back over this because some of us don't read our Bible. But you know, if you read in the scripture, God allows something to jump out at you that you have never seen before. It's good to read the word. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the day of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter therefore were kept in prison, but prior, somebody shout prior, but prior was made without ceasing at the church unto God for him. When Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with chain, and the keeper before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. And the chain fell from off his hand. And the angel said unto him, Grid thyself and bind thy slanders. So he did, and 
He said unto him, cast thy garments about thee and follow me. Somebody said, follow me. And he went out and followed him and waste not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. Tell somebody when God worked miracle, you thought it's a vision. Oh, somebody give him praise right now. Somebody is about to get a miracle, but they need to believe God's word. When it, they were past the first and second ward, they came into the high end gate that led to the city, which opened to them of its own accord. Tell somebody when prayer goes up, things open automatic. Tell somebody when prayer goes up, things turn automatic. Hallelujah, to own a card, and they went out and passed through the street, and forth with the angel depart from him. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord had sent his angel, and had delivered me out of the hand of Herod, from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. Somebody said, together in prayer. Somebody shout, together in prayer. And as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, Adam came to Arkham named Rhoda. And when she knew Peter why she hoped not for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. And they said unto her, thou art mad, but she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, it is his angel. But Peter constantly knocking. And when they had opened the door, tell somebody the door must open. When they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he beckoned unto them with his hand to hold their peace. Declare unto them how the Lord had brought him out of prison. Tell somebody the Lord will brought you out of prison. I don't know what my kind of prison you're in, but the Lord will bring you out of prison. And he said, go show these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went into another place. Now as soon as it was day, there were no small stir among the soldiers. What become of Peter 19? And when Herod saw for him and found him not he examined the keeper and command that they should be put to death and he went down from judea to caesarea and there abode this is the word of the lord somebody shout thanks be to god prior as ready offered god promised to add his richest blessing to his word may his name alone somebody said be glorified all you have to say, God bless the preacher. God bless his servant. And I ask him to let uh, Hallelujah, Wayne and Tony King come out the way and he just take the place. Somebody give him praise right now. Somebody give him praise right now. Hallelujah. This is so potent. The word of God is potent. I, as I said, I get to concentrate on verse 5. Peter was kept in prison. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church. If I've got the time, I want to look at prison and I want to look at prayer and I want to look at without ceasing on church. Somebody give him praise right now. Somebody give him praise. For you to understand this in his right context, you need to know what was happening Why Peter was thrown into prison. Can I tell you from the church birth, the church is suffering persecution. But I want to tell somebody, the more you persecute the church, is the more the church grows. Oh Lord, somebody said without persecution, there would be no victory. Oh, somebody need a praise. Him because the Bible said, if they do the green tree, what about the dry tree? Somebody give him praise right now. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that this early church was birthed under power. Are you hearing me? Was birthed through prayer under power. Tell somebody we need some more prayer power. We need some more prayer power. Can I stop to tell somebody that, hallelujah, we don't need to prove prayer. We need to practice prayer. Oh Lord, somebody give him praise. We don't need to prove. We need to practice prayer. That's what the early church does. They practice prayer. Can I take my time to tell you why 
Peter was shown in jail for little is that um, political, politically, hallelujah, the king was disturbed. Hallelujah. It was a political thing going on because if you study carefully, you realize that Paul, who, who Saul, who became Paul, and the whole epistle here was a political man. He was a key political person before he became, hallelujah, Paul. And if you read close, I realize um, the, 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 the man that prayed, hallelujah, consistently according to Acts 10 hallelujah Cornelius uh, he was a devoted son John man he was also in the political arena but you see because the church was growing these men were pulled to Christianity so it caused somebody to be mad oh, you don't get what I'm saying here hallelujah caused a disturbance uh, among the political arena so this is why uh, hallelujah the king the bible said uh, oh sought to keep the church quiet tell somebody but no matter who you take the church will not remain quiet uh, oh I want to backtrack uh, I see that the church uh, is triumphant uh, and it's alive and it is well. Somebody give him praise right now. Somebody give him praise right now. I kind of like this as I go back when I, I look at the first things and prayer. I kind of like that because God obligated to respond to us if we do what God says you don't get what I'm saying. I said God is in all obligation to respond to the church if the church do what God says. But if the church does not do what God says, God will not respond. Oh, somebody give him praise. You're not getting what I'm saying. I said we have got an obligation, hallelujah, to follow God. Can I take my time a little? You see, prior we pray times and times again and don't have the victory because we pray amiss. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The disciple, if you are school of your Bible, Jesus, hallelujah, the disciple watched him in action and they said, Lord, we want you to teach us how to pray. If you read Luke 11, 1 down, he said, I want you to pray accordingly. He said, he said our Father, which art in heaven, Oh, somebody give him praise right now. He says, uh, Hallelujah, honor his name. Uh, let your kingdom come uh, in heaven, uh, so in earth. Uh, he said, Thy will be done uh, in heaven, uh, so in earth. Tell somebody, not my will, uh, but God's will. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? Oh, as the people of God, uh, we need to pray the will of God. We need to pray what we think we feel like praying about, but we must must be praying the will of God. Tell somebody here because you see, hallelujah, prayer is answered by God because prayer is also God's will. Can I tell you something before I get to Peter? This is interesting. A prayerless Christian is a weak Christian. Oh, you don't get what I'm saying. A prayerless Christian is a weak Christian. A prayerless nation is a weak nation. Oh, Lord, I, I want to get to where I'm going. I want to build a platform to let you know that signs and wonder doesn't come when we keep concert. Signs and wonders doesn't come when we keep rallies. Signs and wonders doesn't come when we have a service when we are entertaining people. But signs and wonders come when people are willing to pray. Oh Lord, somebody needs to say prayer works. Prayer works. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us uh, that the church, uh, you know, I'm preaching myself because I've not yet reached. Tell somebody you need to pray some more. We need to pray some more. I'm taking my time, but I kind of feel sick inside because you see, if with a mind shop, the state is the getting to the church.
church and is a church. Oh Lord, to guide the state. But look out of your eye. The state won't tell us how to run things. But the church is built by Jesus Christ. He said, Up on this rock, I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. And the preacher says so. And God says so. The gates of hell shall not prevail. Whether it come in a black form or a white form or a red form, the gates of hell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to get there. Prayer is not getting God prepared to do our will. Can I say that again? Prayer is not preparing God to do our will. Prayer is preparing us to do God's will. Oh, I wish somebody could get what I'm saying here. Yeah. Prayer release the supernatural power in our life. You don't get me. I said prayer release uh, the supernatural power in our life. Uh, if you want to see supernatural things happen, we need to get back uh, to the place uh, where the church uh, would pray. You don't get what I'm saying. The Bible tells me that the early church, this is what I'm talking about before I get here. The Bible said when the, oh, the power was unleashed on the church, oh, they didn't stop praying. Oh, when the church prayer heard, my colleagues said, they said, these are ignorant. When God would allow miracles to happen, they would say, these are ignorant and unlearned men. But why they are still doing all of this? They took knowledge that they have been with Jesus. I heard the Bible say that when they get them, they couldn't find nothing. They whip them and said, oh, talk about this name again. And when they let them go, they go back to their company and say, Lord, I wish somebody could say, Lord, somebody show Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, stop taking my time and your own hand. Stop taking my time and your own hand. For God said, Oh Lord, the gates of hell shall not prevail. Sometimes we act like the church belongs to us, but the church is bought and paid for by Jesus Christ. Somebody give him praise. Somebody said, Even death could not hold them captive but even in the grave somebody shout he's lord in black order he's lord hallelujah somebody worship him somebody give him praise right now somebody give him praise like you feel him somebody praise him the man somebody praise the king Hallelujah. Oh Lord, I want to get there, but there are some things I want to promote you in prayer. Prize not man giving heavenly. Listen, prize man giving heaven, earth, and license. Hallelujah to interfere. Amen. You know what I just said? Prize man giving heaven. Hallelujah, earthly lies uh, to interfere. Why we don't see more demonstration of God's power? It's because, oh Lord, God not coming down to do what we should do. God said all we need to do is humble ourselves uh, and pray and turn from our evil way and seek his face. Uh, he said, I will hear from heaven. Uh, oh Lord, no pull book, no dopey conqueror cannot stop her. Oh Lord, I feel a like preaching here. No weapon. Somebody shout her. No weapon. Somebody shout no weapon. Oh Lord. I mean, form against a church shall prosper. Somebody say the hot on the back the sweeter, the victory. Am I preaching here? Somebody says, oh Lord, Jesus is the winner man. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh Lord, as I was telling you, before I get to the passage, you bring out some meat out of it. 
I want to tell you that, oh Lord, we spend times and we are trying to cast out demons out of possession person and they now move. We know they're there, but they take ours. Oh, you know why? Because we are doing it backwards. Jesus spent four hours in prayer and just speak the word and demons here. We spend just one hours or half a minute in prayer and we are run out demons and a cycle. Jesus is our example. The Bible said in Luke 1 35, Mark 1, he went into the solitary place. Oh Lord, that it was early and he started to pray. Oh Lord, you don't hear me here. He started to pray when the church prayed. Things will happen. You don't have to touch people. Oh Lord, but the power of the Holy Ghost will touch them. Demons will run out of town. Deaf will hear. Blind eyes will open. All the church need today is prayed. Somebody said, pray some more. Hallelujah. 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 I said prayer is a prerequisite of heaven interference on earth. Are you hearing me? Prayer, hallelujah, is the antidote, is the solution for the church. Oh Lord, to be ready for God, for Jesus coming. Prayer is the antidote for a healthy Christian living. Oh, can I talk to somebody here? Pastor, can I tell you these people can't speak in tongues and they like like that? Oh Lord. People can't shout and dance and sing. They know every key. Hallelujah. But they no good. They no word nothing. But you see the Christian who live in prayer. Can I talk to somebody here? Can I talk to somebody here? Things will happen when the church prays. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Prayer, you can be a record of this. When we have different services, full, especially when food is there. Hallelujah. Somebody not like this preacher, but I'm the eccentric preacher. May I tell you like it is. I said, especially when food is there. But listen this carefully. Prayer, hallelujah, is the most important key to unlock heaven and earth. Prayer is not an option, it's a necessity. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Prayer is the smallest uh, meeting in every church. Oh, you don't get what I just said. I said prayer is the smallest meeting in every church when you call prayer me. No. You don't get what I'm saying. You now find the Christian them only the faithful are come. You don't get what I'm saying here. Yeah. So you see, we need to get back to the place. Somebody said, get back to the root. Get back to the origin. Oh Lord. Oh, you don't know, hear what I'm saying. The early church pray. I kind of like this. God, they know nothing else but prayer. Somebody said prayer, more prayer. Somebody showed more prayer. Things happen when the church prayed. You see everything they try in the book. Because the church prayed Acts 5. The Bible said they first Peter prison board. They lack of Peter already. And when the church prayed, the angel who opened the door. I talk to somebody here. The angel who opened the door and let him go. You don't hear me here. Oh Lord, tell somebody you might be in chain, but pray on a chain. Somebody here. Can I talk to somebody here? I said, pray on a chain. You might be in some kind of chain, but pray is always. Listen carefully. Peter was kept in prison after they took James. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Herod 
listen carefully, believers and church. Herod are exercising power. Oh Lord, you don't hear what I'm saying. Herod exercising power, but the church have greater power. I wish somebody could hear what I'm saying. Oh Lord, when Herod take James, in believing, take James, but James was his card. Lord, you don't get me. And I want to tell the church this. Some people believe that a heavy one are we gonna go in our restaurant, then I go a heavy one a hallway. So sometime maybe a shot take you out, a knife take you out. Uh, you don't get what I'm saying here. I said, read the Bible. The early church was persecuted, they were martyred, but they continue steadfast. Somebody said, steadfast. Uh, some we need some people who come hell a uh, high water. They are going to stand up and be the church. Somebody say, let the church be the church. Let the people rejoice. Oh Lord, somebody give him praise. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Greek word for prayer. Hallelujah, it means personai. That's the Greek word. It means to pray to God. You know that, you see, every human being worships something or someone. You don't get what I'm saying. Every human being that God made, they have an innate thing to worship. You don't get me. Hallelujah. Where that Buddha them go, I'm mad about it. It's in a hand God Almighty. But you see the church that we are part of no 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 how the people to worship but God. You don't get what I'm saying. You don't get what I'm saying here. Anytime you see people I step outside the church and I go look and oh God me get what I'm saying. Uh, hallelujah. Sometimes we are fooled by tongues. Can I say this? Sometimes we are fooled by prophecy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are Christian, you must love prayer. I said, if you are Christian, you must love prayer. Any Christian or love prayer, something is wrong. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Any Christian or love prayer to God, something is wrong. Hallelujah. Prayer means supplication. Surprise not just a few words. Prayer mean to supplicate. Prayer mean to beg, to beseech. Be Somebody shout beseech. Be Hallelujah. You see, sometimes I don't know if any of you that happened to you before. I should rear that car. Some of us know. Sometimes when you pray, it comes like you're not going further than the ceiling. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. You see, you do everything else and you feel good. But when it come to pray, you yawn all ten times. Oh, Lord. Oh, you don't hear me. Hallelujah. But somebody needs to know you need to hammer who a prayer. Somebody said, be the hammer. Be the hammer and tell us something happened. Hallelujah. Why we not see tangible results? We give up too easily. Can I talk to somebody? Here? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! If you see me kind of moving a little, the Holy Ghost just direct me. When Hallelujah, Daniel prayed, the Bible said, God hear Daniel prayer from the first day. He prayed, God said, Me hear you, Daniel. But the Prince of Persia. Can I talk to somebody here? Can I talk to somebody here? The Prince of Persia. I don't know what locked up for you, but pray some more. Then they might tell you, you're not going to be successful in your business. You're not going to be successful in your ministry, in your marriage, your children. Oh, the devil is a liar. Oh, Lord. The devil tell you, you're not getting married, but shut it down. Somebody say, shut it down. Hallelujah. The Bible said when Daniel prayed, Oh God said, Michael, tell somebody I've got the authority for Michael to respond. Tell somebody. The Bible said, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Somebody need to know. The Bible said, I can do all 
Tin Su Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I kind of like this verse. Because you see, this so much, so much evidence to match our life. Can I get practical? Can I get practical? Sometimes people look on your face and then they swear everything all right with you. But everybody have a story. Somebody. Can I talk to somebody here? Oh Lord, don't look at me like before me. Everybody have a story. Hallelujah. Not because you see me worshiping and praising God. That doesn't mean what somebody said when trouble in your life. Uh, when trouble in your life. Uh, when trouble in your life. Uh, some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible said uh, he took Peter and put him in a prison. Somebody showed prison. Do you know what a prison is? Prison is a place of confinement. Prison is a place of can't do what you want. Oh my dear. Oh Lord. Are you hearing me? Some of you right now are looking at me. You are in a prison. You are going to hell. I water. But somebody should say open your mouth. And said, when the church prayed. When the church prayed. Hallelujah. Peter did not have no control over the prison. You don't get what I'm saying. I said Peter was in prison. That's why we know prior works. Tell somebody prior works. Tell somebody prior works. The Bible says when they took James and they say yes we have to Peter because it look good. Everybody agree with it. The public agree with it. So we have to take Peter. The church said no enough. Can the church say enough? Is enough? They want to put some things in our face. Can I preach like I feel it? They want to tell us that man married man is all right. Woman married woman is all right. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Why you know what the devil want to instigate? Want to tell the church, say it is the norm. We have to accept it because at the end time, the devil is a liar. Are you hearing what I'm saying? All oh, the church need to pray. Tell somebody when you pray things will, we're supposed to go forward. The end up I go backward. I said prayer. Hallelujah. Touch heaven. Tell somebody. Prayer is a key to unlock heaven. I want to tell somebody, no matter what the prison look like, whether I'm emotional prison, whether I'm mental prison, whether I'm social prison, whether I'm psychological prison, whether I'm physical prison, when prayer goes up. Hallelujah. 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 You don't pray because you feel like you want to pray. You pray because prayer is the answer. Oh, I wish somebody could get this right now. I said praise and the answer. The Bible said we wrestle not uh, against flesh and blood, uh, but against principalities, uh, rulers of darkness, uh, and spiritual wickedness uh, in high places. Uh, I feel like talk this. Uh, some of you are uh, sit down and make your marriage mash up, uh, and I say it didn't meant to be. Uh, the devil is a liar. You need to start some answer. Uh, and pray against the principalities that assign to divine intervention. There is a principalities and powers that assign to divine institutions. Did you hear what I just said? A principalities 
and powers assigned to divine institution. Listen this carefully. As the Holy Spirit bring this to me and share it. There was a pastor who even though it preaches hallelujah still abused his wife. Hallelujah. And it reached to a point where the, 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 the pastor told his wife that he loved Satan more than the wife. You don't get what I'm just saying. You don't get what I'm just saying. It was at that prayer meeting. Uh, hallelujah. When the pastor was sharing. And when the pastor shared about the principalities and power. The lady with tears in her eyes said, Pastor, yes, I told my husband, tell me so. Lord, hallelujah. But the pastor said to her, Go back home and just tell the whom the husband said, Come just agree with you for a minute and let you pray and identify the demons. <laughs> Hallelujah. And when they hold on, they identify as the demons of principalities and power that is assigned to divine institution in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command you to take your fly. You don't get what I'm saying. You don't get what I'm saying. So many times in our home, children are rebel. Things now work out. We need to start a prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The pastor said, from the wife do it. He and the husband start to live good. And what I want to get is not just anybody. It was a pastor. Lord of God Almighty. Tell somebody we need to pray. But can I get to this? I said, prisoner. When you're locked up in prison, there's not much room. There's not anything you can do because you are bound. But I want to tell somebody, though you might be looking bound on the outside, but inside, I heard somebody said, I don't feel well, but the Spirit of God, it is free. He that the Son set free. It's free indeed. Hallelujah. Peter was kept in prison. Look at this carefully. Prior was made without ceasing. Can I say that again? Prior, the word ceasing means constant. Somebody said constant. Lord Almighty. Hallelujah. Somebody showed constant. Somebody showed constant. You see, there's something I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I want to talk about constants and the church. But you see, when some constant, it means it's perpetual. Somebody shout perpetual. It's not mechanical. So much people join church, they are not constant. They are mechanical but we need some christian who are constant i'm not christian today and tomorrow me are not christian but i'm a constant somebody give him praise Lord. somebody give him praise i'm talking about the church the bible say they were constant prayer was without ceasing can i talk to somebody here when you are constant God uh, would have to show up. Can I talk to somebody here? When you are constant, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, uh, when they were thrown uh, in the fire before they get in, King said, A true say in a bow. Uh, they said, King, I hear you uh, and I respect you. But you see, King, uh, we were told uh, that a one God we bow to. Can I talk to somebody here? Can I talk to somebody here? You see, why? The church to experience more power, more prayer. You have some people who catch on upon the church, them still go a mother, them still a rub up, them still a bilato, them still a can I talk to somebody here? Can I talk to somebody? I soon get to the real church. Am I talking to anybody here? If we are not united, we are not gonna have victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I say constant, this came back right to Pentecost. Do you remember Pentecost? When Jesus said, go up on the upper room and when the Bible said, go in here in prayer. 
Almighty. Hallelujah. Nobody no go to go murmur or complain. I say a long time we are with them we are wait. They the wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peter was born, but prayer was loose. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. Peter was born, but prayer was loose. God Almighty here. You see, fear of another thing coming. For fear of get all the military power them. I say you'll never get out here tonight. I talk to some people here. You see, child of God, can I tell you this? Uh, from around this microphone, you are going through stuff, but you don't mean you're not saved. Can I talk to somebody here? The Bible, oh, one songwriter said, it drew me aside uh, to be tested uh, and tried. But in the valley, uh, anybody in the valley, he said, I will restore. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. My God. Somebody say my God. Somebody say my God. Hallelujah. When every. When every. One of Aaron soldier thought Peter, hallelujah, was going to die. Because you see, maximum security. Somebody showed maximum security. Maximum security. As I said, maximum, some people have a way to try you. Uh, they turn judge, they turn barrister, they turn liar, and lock you up. Somebody, can I talk to somebody here? But somebody need to say, it's not over until God said, it's over. Am I talking to anybody here who you seems? Oh, I heard my sister say, one thing after the other happened. But God said to tell you tonight, prayer works. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. The word there is so much. I, I can't give you all of it tonight. But the first word in prayer. The alphabetical Hebrew word for the first word. It means five. And it means eighty. Eighty. A numerical value of 80. And watch this. It means mouth. Glory to God of God. Somebody shout mouth. When the people of God open their mouth. Oh Lord, you don't hear me. Oh Lord, you see why the devil, hallelujah, want to keep you quiet. He knows that the church open his mouth and start to pray and sing praises. There is a release. Tell somebody we are in the atmosphere of release. It's not for any good reason why they put the team. But in for a time as this, God is saying more prayer. It mean homing. The same word mean homing. Somebody said the mouth mean the pay. It's a year of broken. It's a year when the people of God need to lift up their voice and summon heaven. God, there's a change. It's coming. But God is saying if my people would stop what they are doing, it's time for my people to weep between the porch. It's time for my people of summons a uh, fast uh, and seek him. He said if you seek him you will find him. But when you do it with all your heart Hallelujah. I give you another part of it. The same word in mean entrance. The same word, the first word of prayer in mean entrance. 
Glory to God. Tell somebody you need to hang time to prayer. Tell somebody you need to hang time to prayer. Whatever is happening, tell somebody get into prayer. It's time to get into the closet. It's time to get in the place where nobody loves. It's time to get down in sackcloth and ashes and summon his cloth. There's no two way about it. There's no other way to fix up it but than to pray. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? To pray. I could go on and go on and tell you how prayer works. Hallelujah. Before when Abraham prayed, it was Abraham prayer that rescued Lot. It's not Lot rescue himself down at Sodom, but it's a prayer of Abraham. Read in the Bible. Abraham get into a place where he intercede. We need some more people. Some people believe that prayer only is for prayer warrior. Some people believe that prayer only for intercessor. But every Christian must pray. The Bible says man must always pray and not to faint effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availing much hallelujah prayer is a beginning are you hearing me so powerful prayer prayer is a beginning it starts some things that you have never seen before to take place are you hearing what I'm saying it caused something to take place that never yet take place. It caused something to come, hallelujah, that shouldn't be going that way. It comes that way. Prayer erupt miracles. Can I talk to somebody here? If you want to see miracles and signs and wonders, start to pray. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hallelujah in the word. The Bible said well. Hallelujah. The Peter was in prison. He don't even need one two soldiers to guard him. Two soldiers. One at his right. And one at his left. Are you hearing me somebody? And at the big bar gate. Soldier how near to. Can I talk to somebody here? There's no way physically he could escape. Am I talking to some people in here? Am I talking to some people? Stop, look to man and look to God. Am I talking to some people here? God said, I will hear you. But if you see me, you will find me. But when you're constantly knocking. Hallelujah. I like this one. Can I, can I, can I tell you and the land is before I jump on the last place first about church constant that Greek word constant which is the same word as earnest it means enos it means a medical term describing the stretching of a muscle to the desired limit. Yes. Oh, Lord, you know you want to say. I said, this prayer without ceasing means constant. In the medical term, it means to stretch the muscle to the desired length. How you hear me? As I said, stretch some muscle. Do you remember when the child was dead and Elijah stretched? himself. It's time for the church to stretch. Oh, you don't get what I'm saying. The Bible said he stretched himself on the child and he prayed. Oh, Lord, when the church pray, dead things will come alive. When the church pray, are you hearing me? People will run come. People will step off of the motorcycle and run come to church. People will park them speak on the sidewalk and come and pour at an altar. People will stop boss. Get what I'm saying. Mother will pull down their bad pan and run come to the house of God when the people of God pray. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Prayer, listen to this. Prayer cause God to send this angel to act. And the angel respond to Peter. 
You don't get what I'm saying. You don't get what I'm saying. I said prayer caused God to respond. And the angel hopped. He sent the angel. And he also caused the angel to respond to Peter. When you pray, you don't have to be the second person. Can I talk to somebody here? I said prayer release the angel. Prayer release the angel. Prayer release God to release the angel. Can I say this to you? When we pray, God allows us to have favor with man and with the angel. When we pray, God allows us to have favor with man and with angel. Hallelujah. The Bible said the angel, watch this part. Watch this part before it get down to the church. The last thing I want to tell you about the church, why we must pray. The Bible said when the, the angel, when they prayed, the angel go right into the prison and mark you. The God was here. Hallelujah. They were setting watch. I don't know how they let the angel pass them, but the angel tell somebody, nobody can stop that messenger. Nobody can stop that messenger. You could have watched the come on. You could have drink coffee. You could have had any amount of camera. But when God get ready, when God get ready, when the church pray, the Bible said Peter was sleeping. Hallelujah. Peter was sleeping. I'm a living example to tell you that no prayer works. Prayer works. I've ended up in the courthouse already. Listen. I've ended up in the courthouse. I'm not going to go to court. I don't know nothing about court. Yeah. But we end up there. Because the landlord chose to take me there. I didn't rent this place. And the landlord chose to bring me to court. All I'm trying to tell him, I don't have the money. He decided to take me to the court. <laughs> Hallelujah. But when... The time for the court. Yeah. I talked to somebody with an experience who said I must bring it to some council. And, and you don't have to go into the real court. But when I have this in my mind to say I end up near the court. So when the judge, before I could even say anything, the judge said he don't see any reason why shouldn't we try. Yeah. We don't get what I'm saying here. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I was dumb shook. I don't know what to say. They have them lawyer. I don't have no lawyer. I mean, I represent myself and Jesus. Are you hear what I'm saying? I'm telling you, oh God will allow his angel to show up on your behalf. While I was there, hallelujah, laid in the court, stand up and say, Your Honor, if him no way, if him say no way, him no way, let me talk to you. Don't hear me. God a lower liar, a Christian liar. Me no make no act, me no make no arrangement with her. But she stand up. You don't get what I'm saying. You don't get what I'm saying. I'm saying God, are these people at the right place at the right time? She stand up at the wall. If him saying no way, in no way. Hallelujah. You're going to say, all right, go talk, go speak with him. Oh, Lord, you don't get what I'm saying here. Hallelujah. You're going to have to say, next kiss. Can I talk to somebody? Can I talk to somebody here? Hallelujah. Say it out. I'm saying prayer works. God will send his angel to bring deliverance when it seems to be no way. God will make a way. Am I preaching to anybody in this congregation here? You don't know when. You don't know how. But God will do it again. Everybody. Tell somebody, pray some more. Pray some more. When you pray, you might not even know who you're praying for. But some prison door is flying. Can I tell somebody here that no prison door cannot keep you in? Because God will send his angel because you belong to him. Somebody shout a pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm showing you when you pray miracles happen. The Bible said when the church pray to God, 
God sent his angel in the prison and the angel just said Peter it's time for your release it's time for your release can I tell somebody at work hallelujah black hood God said it's time for your release it's time for your release it's time for your release and you believe it say Lord I believe you stand up and said it's my time it's my time to break through it's my it's my time to break free. It's my time to the Lord to do this. Look at what I'm saying here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody it's my time to break free. It's my time to break free. It's my time for expansion. It's my time for miracle. It's my time for victory. It's my time for healing. It's my time. Hallelujah. 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 No word of God come by accident and by chance when God said a word God is saying somebody here need a word somebody don't know what to do but there's an angel assigned to you oh Lord I don't know if at 12 o'clock at night I don't know if at 1 o'clock I don't know if at 2 o'clock I don't know if at 3 o'clock but the angel already is on the assignment somebody pray do some more Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm simmering down. I'm closing because I know we have to go. But God no need no help. Oh, Lord. Can I talk to somebody? I said, God no need no help. God no need no help. Hallelujah. He's got all by himself. If you know Peter didn't try to pull the chain. Can I talk to somebody here? Somebody need to be loose tonight. Oh, somebody has been bound for a very long time. Your prayers now go very far. Your show now go very far. Your ministry is diamond. But God says time to be break free. You don't get what I'm saying here. Some people say you chat too much. You talk too much, and they might try to shut you down. You don't get what I'm saying here. That's why they lack of Peter, because they want to shut him up. I wish somebody could get this here. I wish somebody could get this. You want to go, but somehow, somehow, when people don't like you, then your basket to Kiawana. The same people, them, will laugh with you. They must stab you in your back. But it's your time. You don't get what I'm saying here. Tell somebody no high and bar, no high and bar, no steel bar. Oh Lord, cannot tear you in. You don't hear me. You don't hear me here. Peter was in a prison, in a in a prison. But when God said this angel, tell somebody everything change, everything shift up, everything shift up. Hallelujah. One of the things. Can I preach a little while longer? One of the things why we know we, we are Christian and we save in the car when life change. And when your life change, things have to change around you. You don't get what I'm saying here. Things have to change around you. When your life change, your chat change. Oh Lord, you don't hear me. Oh Lord, when some people are past you, some of them are give out sound. And because they want to give out sound, but you see you are different. Oh Lord, the Bible tells me when Peter and John was coming from prayer and the woman who possessed saw them, they said these are men of the most high God. Don't hear me. Our demons identify you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, I'm telling you about a miracle. God is saying if you pray, 
you don't have to worry because God said I will if you will I will the Bible said when the angel get in there and he touched Peter the things that bind him they fall powerless am I talking to somebody here you might have an addiction oh Lord you can't get over but when the prayer goes up God said I will put my strength into your weakness the Bible says when the angel touched him the chain fly and Peter still asleep tell somebody all in I'm asleep I am free all in I'm asleep I am victorious all in I'm asleep I've got the power all in I'm asleep Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen this carefully. A miracle is not something you plan for. Oh, you don't get what I'm saying. And a, a miracle is something you can't fathom. Oh, you don't get what I'm saying here. Oh Lord, it's not something that you put in your bed and you're dreaming. Oh Lord, you don't hear me. A miracle is spontaneous. Lord, hallelujah. I heard the preacher getting my message today. The preacher said everything was made to go down that way. Oh, well, God Almighty. No matter what you do, everything will go down so. But miracle caused it to go so. Can I talk to somebody? Can I talk to somebody here? Oh Lord, Moses was a praying person. Hallelujah. When Pharaoh was going after the children of Israel, because Moses believed God, God caused the Red Sea to part into heap. One heap over there, so oh, you don't get me. And another heap over there, so and there's a road. Can I tell somebody here? God said, Here's a road for you are but you need to trust them they that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion oh Lord you know hear me I says when the angel hallelujah touched Peter and said Peter get up I can see Peter in not quite wake up yet Lord him still asleep but he's been escort can I tell Christian you have been escort you have been escort by the messenger of God the Bible tells me that while he was near the angel carry man when he reached the first gate he turned automatic somebody shout automatic somebody shout automatic a miracle will cause automatic or not to come into play hallelujah you know what we need to understand there's something try you may you can't work you hallelujah hallelujah you can't work you Hallelujah. But you see, God don't need to work on nothing. He's God. Yes. Oh, Lord, you don't get what I'm saying. Hallelujah. I said the things that keep pulling. When Peter reached there, he just give way. Somebody shall give way. I'm saying to somebody right now, God, so when you pray, something must give way to you. Something must give way. You see, the Bible said, the blessing of the Lord make it rich and it has no sorrow. Can I say to somebody, when God bless you, nobody can curse you. He that God bless, no man can curse him. Can I tell some people in black in right now God is saying uh, when the church pray uh, things will happen uh, God will put food in your cupboard uh, God will put a uh, you know hear me God will open doors uh, God will provide a job uh, at the hotel uh, where you never oh, can I talk to somebody can I talk to somebody God will take you before great men God will take you in places where you are not qualified in the eyes of men. Oh, you hear what I'm saying here? Hallelujah. I've been puzzled by the text because you know why? Because Peter in the prison was there. The soldier didn't go to bed. The soldier was still on guard. 
The soldier was still in the right place. But as I look in the scripture, I realize Peter became invisible. Can I say to Christian, you are invisible in the eyes of the enemy. Are you hearing me? Just pray some more and watch God. And, uh, turn up the heat uh, and the enemy. The Bible said when uh, Peter came to the first door, uh, it turned automatic. Uh, and when he get to the second, uh, it turned automatic. Uh, Peter, the angel has caught him uh, on the outside. Uh, when God starts something, God no left your pathway. God completed. Uh, am I talking to anybody here? Hallelujah. I'm sharing this testimony as to wrap up this thing when kiss one. I remember about 2006, a little further back, I have a, a car. I have one of the Polish ship cars at them. Hallelujah, Carola. And the car was really good to me and my family, and I was going to JTS. I went to listen to God worked. I was going to JTS, Jamaica Theological Seminary. And I was going through some stuff because in those days when the life cut off when we, at the shop, the life cut off at home. Yeah. Hallelujah. In those days, hallelujah, when I look in the community, my life was one of the most poor. Hallelujah. Yeah. So till I'm saying it seems like they take my life tree make feet tree. Because yeah. every time they cut you off. Don't what I'm saying. No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I remember when I was going to school, when the water cut off, I stopped at the shop to get water. Hallelujah. And somebody, so many more were studying me. Hallelujah. In the middle of the night, my wife even said, Honey, I don't think you should have done that, you know. But because no water and the yard, we carried the bucket then in the vehicle to fill them up inside. Hallelujah. And I don't spend five minutes in there. But when I come back with the first bucket, the car was there. When I come back with the last bucket, I don't see the car. And I was wondering how the car gone so fast because I have the key. Well, you don't get what I'm saying. Hallelujah. I was shocked. I couldn't, I couldn't even remember the license plate number. No, you don't get what I'm saying. I couldn't remember to call the police to tell them what kind of car because I was shocked. Am I talking to some real people? Yeah. Hallelujah. And I remember I continue and I keep missing the car and people telling me what they think I should do, I shouldn't do. All people have story. I you know God just ministered to me in such a way. God is awesome. Yeah. Hallelujah. Out of every word of consolation of your calling, what people give me, none of them could really hit home or I don't want people to tell me about it. Tell a brother says to me, Oh, man of God, when they come for the car, when they come to steal the car, God sit them in the back seat. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, God sit them in the back seat and then drive away with them. <laughs> Hallelujah. And that just builds my spirit. You don't hear me. God is such an awesome God. I said, that just lift my spirit. I don't worry about, I got a better one now. Give him praise. Somebody give him praise. I've got one that I didn't buy through the bank, but God provided for me. Somebody need to know God is still the God who answers prior child of God. When the church prayed, when Peter came outside, the Bible said he thought he was in a vision. He thought he was not real. I'm saying to some people, the way God work, when God work, he blow your mind. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you this before I close quickly. He says, the church, listen this, the church was koinonia. That word koinonia means fellowship. And if you take that word and go back where the early church thought, you see why the church grew. The church was cutting against the church. The church was united with the word of God. There was a strong fellowship. You could feel 
still not fellowship. Can I tell you, child of God, the church is not born by man. The church is born by Jesus Christ. Are you hearing me? If you're part of the church, you must be in fellowship with the church. If the church called prayer meeting, not like you better than prayer meeting. Oh Lord, we need to work together as one. This is what going to move the kingdom here on earth. When the church come together, Jesus said upon this rock, I build my church and the gates of hell cannot prevail. I'm telling you, if you feel and the church feel, the church can't feel. The church can't feel. You know how I know? Because the church in the ecclesia, the word ecclesia mean those who are called out. I didn't call myself. God called me out. So if you're part of the church, you can't feel. Tell somebody the church never feel. The church, stand up on your feet right now. Stand up on your feet right now. When the church prayed, something is happened. I'm saying to somebody, as I close, I don't know what kind of prison you are in. I don't know what kind of chain holding you. But the church, hallelujah, is alive and well. The church, a young and it's alive. And it is well. Let the church. Hallelujah. Be the church. Let the church triumphant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some things that is something today. Hallelujah. All the devil I tell we can devil tell talk to you know. I tell you say in time and we are get comfortable. Oh my God Almighty. Hallelujah. But I want to take it on closing, said the church we're talking about was born out of persecution. The more the church persecuted is the more the church rise. You don't hear what I'm saying. It's the more God work with the church with signs, miracles, and wonders among the believers. Don't Tell me your husband can't get saved. Don't tell me your wife can't get saved. Don't tell me your son can't get saved. Don't tell me my junk and a certain man, the devil is a liar. Don't tell me your community can't change. If a church is in a community, the community must reach. Can the church reach? Can I talk to somebody here? But the church need a prayer. When the church prayed, God will knock. God said, I'll tell you, the battle is not yours. The battle belongs to the Lord. All the church need to pray. God sent his angel and delivered Peter. And the shocking part about it, they were still there, the security. They were sentenced to die when Herod found out. And I'm saying to you, this happened more than one occasion. Peter, Paul, and Silas were locked in the jail. And the Bible says, they didn't go quarreling to how they're going to get bail. Yeah. Hallelujah. Do you know that man failed? But God will never fail. I heard the preacher says today that the doctor said, of cancer are some, hallelujah, cancer. And he said, Doctor, I have no cancer. Hallelujah. Yeah. Are you hearing me? And doctor still take him through the process. And doctor try everything to make him go asleep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And give him all the sedated things there when he is still wide open. Can't say no nah, sleep. Me now have no cancer. You don't hear what I'm saying here. Hallelujah. He said when he come out, the nurse, the doctor don't say anything more than come out. The nurse took at him and said, you're a good man. The whole report he get is a good man. He so many people have been losing their life because they believe in the physical. Oh, are you hearing me? It's time for us to arise and believe God. If prayer can't do it, nothing else can't do it. Prayer changes things. Oh, the antidote of our problem today is prayer. When we pray, God will respond. When we pray, God will intervene. There's anybody in here need an intervention. There's anybody in here you need an intervention. God is saying to you right now, Hallelujah! As the church prays, I will respond. 
I don't know what your situation is tonight. But God is saying, if you come to me, I will no wise turn you away. Oh, he died for the church. He dies for the church. He said, all you have to do is come to me. Hallelujah. You're in this place before I turn you. I'm about to fact, look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. You're in the presence of God. You can't tell any lie. Hallelujah. Because the presence of God is evident. Look at your neighbor. Look at everybody have a story. Everybody have a story. And you see so many times why we don't get help because we don't have a story. We all have been nice and done. The glory to God. But I'm saying to you, look at your neighbor and ask them, what are the challenges you have right now? There is any challenges in your life right now where you need God to come to. Look at your neighbor and ask them a question. Hallelujah! Prayer bells of heaven! Prayer bells of heaven! Prayer bells of heaven! Oh, sweet to the ring! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hold on to your neighbor, and hold on to your neighbor. We are going home. We are gonna break some prison. We are gonna break some prison. The Bible says, "Hallelujah!" Hallelujah! It's not a shame to be in a prison. It's not a shame. Come on. Sometimes you go in a prison and you and you put yourself in there. Hallelujah. Sometimes you're in a prison because of your grandmother. Sometimes your mother, your father. To somebody here, hallelujah. Sometimes you're 35 for your child, and your children you want to have a better life. So, you think, Can I talk to somebody here? Can I talk to somebody here? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! If you got it to do all over again, you don't make a different choice, but the child's make already. But God is saying, Somebody, if you pray, I will release. Hallelujah to all the person. We are about to pray because unity, unity. The Bible said if two shall agree. I don't know. Might be somebody outside your family. Might be somebody in the hospital right now. They are going to go to take her. We don't care but prayer will change something. Hallelujah, you hold the person in. Believe for their salvation if they are not saved too. Because Paul and Silas, glory to God. The Bible said when everything was locked away, in the hours of the night they sung praises and prayer. They prayed, oh God, one of the greatest miracles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible said the place was shaken and earthquake and earthquake. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Before God does not say your prayer, he will cause an earthquake in that situation. Are you hearing? Are you ready to pray right now? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, open your mouth right now. As you hold the person and right now, we are going to pray right now. I want you to pray for the deliverance of your neighbor. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are standing here tonight because we believe prayer works. We know prayer works. It's heaven and mighty God. Over and over again, you have come true for us. Mighty God, I stand here tonight at a living testimony. Last year, December, I should die by a trailer. But mighty God, you sent your angel right as I was about to crush with the trailer. And the man on the hallelujah here put road, mighty God, your angel would line up the vehicle. Mighty God, I stand today in saying, God, whatever prisoner your children are in with a clear loose right now my god almighty word has been come upon them that god almighty things not gonna change all oh, that state in their life will follow them to their destiny but right now we said their shackles are broken now we stand in agreement god heaven is responding right now somebody's soul mighty 
see God has been tortured because they know Jesus is the answer. Lord, move over this church right now. Seek heal. Loose tongues right now. Loose, only my God Almighty, mental capacity. Cause strength to be renewed. Cause the Holy Ghost fire to burn again. Holy Ghost fire burn again. Ministry, mighty God, I've been realized. Open doors, my God, for business. Oh, God, I declare before the hearing, more marriage will take place in this local assembly. I declare and decree, my God, a spiritual breakthrough. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that mighty God, workers will assign themselves to responsibility. God, I pray in the name of Jesus. The Lord, every broken relationship will restore. I pray that every ex and spell that assign my God to your children will be broken right now. Every generetical curse is broken. Every diabolical plot is broken. Lord, every heart right is, every diabetes, leukemia, cancer. Oh Lord, when I turn the head, in the stomach, in the lower part, I the abdomen right now Goodbye. I pray in the name of Jesus Lord that even whom that doctor says is not gonna give birth even now I pray that every deadness my God Almighty every deadness in the womb every dead cell right now Hallelujah! I speak life. I said a chain is fly right now. I said a prison door is open right now. Children right now will go. Believe in God. Believe in God because your word tells you that if two on earth shall agree, it shall be done. It shall be done. It is so, it is so, it is so in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that as we pray in the community, he's been affected because of righteousness. Righteousness exalts a nation. Righteousness exalts a nation. People will come without being forced and come and bow before you because prayer works. In the name of Jesus, somebody will experience some miracle. Somebody will experience some miracle. Somebody, Lord, they have the plans. They don't know how it's going to work. They don't know how things will work out. But right now, you're on the way to open a door, my God Almighty. You're sending destiny help. You're releasing the favor of angels. You're releasing the favor of men. Even now. We thank you, mighty God. We thank you, mighty God. We thank you, mighty God, for the release of faith. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout 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 in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I know I've gone over my, I've gone well over time. But if you are not, if you are in here, you are not saved. Can you just lift your hand from where you are? And I pray this prayer. You don't have to come to the altar. You're not saved. God see that I lift your hand. I want to pray, pray for you right here. Can the church just believe God with me? God see that I lift your hand up. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. As those hands lifted up in this sanctuary. God recognizing that you are the holy way. Hallelujah. You are the only person who can release Lord, those who are in bondage, as those hands goes up tonight, God, hallelujah, heaven right now, glory to God, you send a release, that's why they lift their hand up in honesty, we pray right now that you break them free, let the minister of salvation minister to them right now, 
Bring them to the place of consciousness. Let them know, mighty God, that their salvation in Nova, but in the name of Jesus. Let them know he that the Son set free is free indeed. Lord, I declare and decree right now that every chain is broken over them. I declare and decree now, Lord, that your eyes is open to your will, to your truth right now, that conviction rests and laid on them. In Jesus' name. Somebody clap your hands and praise the Lord. Come where you are. I see you. I see you. Come where you are. I pray that prompt deliverance for you right now. I want to lead you into sinner's prayer. If you are willing to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior as of tonight, just lift your hand up for me. Hallelujah. I pray the prayer of deliverance. You are going to follow him as of tonight. Can you lift your hand up right now? He's talking to you that tonight is your time to serve him. Lift your hand up. I want to lead you into the sinner's prayer. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord bless you. Can the church come here and praise the Lord? The week of the four. Hallelujah. The week is out. You will come to the pastor, the coach, and say, Hallelujah. The preacher was talking to me, and I'm sorry that my life. God bless you. I'll turn over to the moderator right now. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Something happened when the church prays. Praise the name of Jesus. And indeed, prayer works. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Pastor King, for delivering, delivering such a powerful message. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I ask you at this time to stand and just point your hand to the preacher. And said, bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Cover him, Lord. Him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Cover him, Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. I must take the time out at this time to acknowledge the, the presence of Minister Gray, Pastor Gray, and the brethren from Mount Zion Apostolic Church in Beckford Crown. Stand. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And the brethren and pastor from Word of Open Truth Ministries, Pastor Minot, and the brethren from from Maypen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. At this time, I just hand the mic to Pastor Thompson, and he will come to the service. What a mighty God we serve! What a way to come down. Convention 2023. Amen. When the church pray, my God, the power of prayer. We all are believing from here, going to a different places, with different churches, communities. Come on. Revive, refill the come on, charge up. Amen. Let's be the name of Jesus to God be the glory. Praise God. We thank God for this wonderful night. Amen. God bless you, Reverend King. Amen. I've been preaching for us for a very long time now. Amen. Very humble man of God. And of course, God bless you all. Amen. Praise his name. Come again. Praise his name. Praise God. Amen. Pastor, the brethren from Rosil and Penance, of course, as he have said there, we now be having fellowship. All right. <laughs> oh, praise God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, praise this wonderful name. God bless you. Let us stand in the house. Let us stand in the house. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And I want to keep praying for the cooks. My God, for the very hard work. Amen. Not easy. My God. And of course, I must say, well done. Mister. come on up here, Pastor Minor. Pastor Gray, we go together in this community. We know each other. Pastor Minor, amen. Just run up here. You will be closing us out in prayer. Amen. Pastor Gray understand the come down from Kingston Lake and he came in late also, but we are workers together right in this community. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. We was with you, so and we amen. Enjoy your fellowship. Amen. To God be the glory. Glad to have you tonight. 
Lord praises the Lord Jesus. Lord praise his name. Praise God. What's the man and wife? Amen. We're closing, but of course we want to acknowledge you. Come up and we see your face good. All right. Lord praise his name. Let's be the name of Jesus. Praise God. Come, we should never talk to you. All right. The brethren, come on, the daughter and so on. Amen. Come on, step inside. Glad to see you. Yes, those outside. Come inside, my one to appreciate your coming. I mean, all the way up from Maypen. Let's be the name of Jesus to be with us. Amen. Put your hands together for them. Let's be the name of Jesus. Oh, praise God. To God, the peace of glory. So, of course, amen. We remind that you'll be praying. Amen. As the Lord go with us. Amen. And for safe, of course. Amen. Troubling. Amen. And for this word to abide with us. My God, and now we know that the church is triumphant. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Lift your right hand and give God worship, man. My God. God is good. Praise his name. After that, amen, we'll be leaving home, fellowshiping together after the prayer. Amen. Praise God. Amen. This good old son. Amen. Praise God. When you feel a liquor problem, the fire is burning, you know the prayer will turn in. Let's have a little talk with Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Let us pray tonight. Let us pray. Let us all pray tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. God, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. God Almighty, we lift you up. We exalt you. We worship you tonight, God. We thank you for this wonderful fellowship. We thank you, God, for the church tonight. We thank you for the call, Lord, the Ecclesia. God Almighty, we thank you for your servant, the man of God, who remind us, Lord, that the church must pray without ceasing, constant in prayer. God, we thank you tonight, God, for your word. Your word never changed. It remained the same. God, you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And God, we thank you, Lord. We have been strengthened. We have been revived. God, we have been challenged to go back to the place of prayer. Divine God, we praise you tonight. We honor your God that you're still men of God who believe in standing firm in praying and seeking you till things happen, till things change. So God, we give you the praise tonight. God, we thank you that we could, we could journey from our different homes, our different parishes, our different churches, Lord, to be here tonight to have fellowship one with another, to have all things in common. My God, we thank you tonight, God, for this wonderful privilege. Truly tonight, God, our soul have been blessed. We have been filled up, Lord. Our cup have been run over tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And God, as we are about to go tonight, as we are about to go to, come on, to a different home, God, we might depart parting from each other tonight, but your presence is still with us. My God, we are carrying this tonight, God. We are going with it, God, in the name of Jesus. Bless your people. Bless your servant. God, your son of the side. God, his family, his brothers and sisters, Lord, those who are working in this vineyard, God. Surely we can feel your presence in this house. God, there is something in this place that is not everywhere. There is a presence of God in this house. And God, we can feel it. My God, we have been enriched by it. And we thank you, Holy Ghost, for what you have done through this week. And God, what you are about to do now. There's great things that is coming upon this place, in this house, in this community, God. And we give you the praise for it tonight. So, divine God, we pray for blood coverage. We pray that God will cover us under your blood. Give us journey's mercies. Cancel and rebuke. Pull on and tear down everything of the enemy. Let us reach from safe and rejoicing. Come against every attack of the wicked and bless us tonight, God. Bless us tonight. Let your choicest blessing journey with us tonight. As the writer said, journey, man, Jesus. Journey with us tonight as we go to a different home. In the name of Jesus, as we give him the praise now, in Jesus' mighty name. Can somebody say Jesus' name? Yeah.